you need to do in order to deal this much damage. You know what I mean? Like a good explanation. <laughs> four, 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 four mil, four mil. Yo guys, what is up? Max on Diablo 4 video, and today we're talking about the Gore's Devastating Grips. Now, uh, if you had seen footage of these things before, they were probably the most broken and busted unique in the game prior to launch. In fact, they were literally broken. Uh, these things read, Whirlwind explodes after it ends, dealing 25% of the total base damage dealt to surrounding enemies as fire damage. Now, this was originally not, like unstacking damage in fact you could whirlwind and spin around and when you exploded it would keep the damage and you could just keep building up damage and it was stacking up on broken objects and uh, it was just doing way 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 too much damage so blizzard nerfed it um and today i want to talk about if they're still good uh because they nerfed them significantly they used to go up to like 70 percent explosion damage and stack infinitely and now they have a stack cap only on your first 100 hits base damage and only 26 percent uh and so i want to talk about if they're still like a must-have unique uh and just how good they are hope you guys enjoyed the video let's get right into it so the biggest things to understand about these gauntlets, first off, is that they're going to drop with plus ranks into Whirlwood. Now, originally, I had plus three drop for me, and I thought they were pretty disappointing. Uh, compared to my plus four Whirlwind gloves, my Whirlwind gloves that I had plus four were giving me more damage. However, what I didn't realize, uh, and I don't know if this is known or not, but when I actually upgraded them, so now they're rank four out of five, I upgraded them at a blacksmith, uh, that rank changed from plus three to plus four, and now they feel so much better. And the reason for that is because the explosion scales off of your base damage, aka it doesn't take into account the numbers that you're dealing on your screen. All of the damage that's appearing while you're whirlwinding is taking into account your multipliers. Uh, this is only taking into account the base damage, aka what basically this reads here. Now, there is ways to double dip this damage, and the more points you have into whirlwind, the better these uh these gloves are gonna feel all right so let's do some gameplay testing i've got a pretty big pack following me here we've got all of our shout things let's pop them jump into the middle of the pack we want to hit as many enemies as we possibly can we're gonna wait for a pull uh as my whirlwind will pull enemies and then the explosion there happened a little too fast it's hard to see let's rewind that back and see how much damage we did So on my initial impressions of these things, I was actually very underwhelmed. Uh, I was spinning and dealing damage, and then I hit that 2 million in that clip, and I spent the rest of the afternoon experimenting with these things and trying to get its damage to be as consistent as possible. And I think I figured out a few ways to get these gloves to really, really work for you. Uh, however, there are some serious issues with them uh, and that I want to explain. Now, the first issue that I've noticed with these gloves is they change them so that they only take into account the first 100 hits of Whirlwind. Now, one thing that I've noticed in my playtime with these is it feels like if you spin for too long, aka if you're spinning on an enemy and deal more than 100 hits, uh, your damage at the end of that will get reset, aka you'll go from 100 down to basically nothing. Uh, as some of the spins that I've done where I've spin for a really, really long time, which you'd think would deal the most damage, uh, are doing 5k hits. Um, however, spinning for a very short amount of time, like maybe five seconds uh does some of the biggest hits so i'm not sure quite what's going on with that the next thing that i've been using on these gore devastating grips to make them deal the most damage is i changed um two things with my build the first is that i moved away from the furious whirlwind now i like using furious whirlwind uh, more than the uh, violent whirlwind however violent whirlwind reads after using whirlwind for two seconds whirlwind does 30 percent increased damage until it's canceled now these gloves read that they only take into account the base damage however it seems like this impacts the base damage and so i'm consistently hitting now with this build uh when we're getting mills uh we're, we're pretty consistently hitting mills and then we can get it up to four mil on like super super lucky hits now, the biggest thing I've noticed with making these things deal as much damage as possible is conditional damage. Now, what I mean by that is these gloves only take into account the base damage that you deal. However, the explosion is still a base damage, and it's going to get multiplied 
by your big damage multiplier. So for example, if it crits, which the explosion can crit, and you've got a ton of crit chance or crit damage, it hits way harder. If you've got a ton of vulnerable damage and an enemy is vulnerable, it hits way harder. And so one of the things that I've found to be the most consistent with this is waiting until I've got basically everything set up, uh, making sure that I'm berserking so that when I deal the explosion, the explosion procs a bleed proc, which is going to be a massive bleed proc, making sure that enemies are vulnerable. And I know this sounds a little bit weird, tinfoil hat theory, but sometimes whirlwind feels like it starts critting a bunch. And as soon as I see that crit start hitting a bunch, I proc the gloves and it feels like it procs a crit along with whirlwind. Uh, the last big thing that I've noticed that's super important to make these feel good is the whirlwind pulls enemies to you. Now, obviously this lets you hit more enemies with it, uh, but it also lets you stack up the gory gauntlets faster. And I usually don't trigger them until I get a pull. Well, as soon as the enemies get pulled in, boom, explosion, and then move on to the next pack. Um, this is just, it leads to some really, really ridiculous damage. It's much better in groups than it is on bosses. This still is not like a, oh, you're going to instant nuke, one shot a boss. It can lead to a lot of bossing damage. I actually messed around with it in PvP, and you can spin on enemy players for like a millisecond, proc the whirlwind explosion, and they will get instant nuked. Uh, it's a good time. Guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I just wanted to make this video mainly because when I saw that these gauntlets got nerfed, I was... Uh, pretty frustrated just because part of the reason I wanted to go whirlwind is because I thought this like fire explosion that you could do sounded so cool and I thought they might be dead however they're still really strong they are quite inconsistent but if you grab some damage multipliers and time your explosions uh, at optimal times these things can do absolutely ridiculous damage and make barb feel even better I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll catch y'all in the next one take care guys peace